Fly away, little birdie. Fly, fly. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Titans Return Titan Master Taro. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up top here, we have the all-wise, all-knowing floating head. On the bottom here, we have Taro in his head mode, and he is a Titan Master, a Maitre Titan, a Maestro Titan, and a Maestre Tita. Tita. And on the back, you just have a picture saying, hey, you can put this head on bodies. Hooray! And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have Taro. So we'll move this off to the side and take a look at the Titan Master itself. As usual, no paint on it. Um, he is cast in red and gray plastic, but no paint apps on him. Um, you get a look at the head sculpt there. He's got a nice little visored face. So, you know. Got a bit of detail, not so much detail on the body itself. You got a little bit of detail there on the arms, a little bit of detail on the thighs there, and a bit of detail on the legs. And as usual, articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint. Get a little bit of wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. And the arms are on a ball joint, and they can move out that far, they can move up only that far. Oh, the legs can't move forward that far, back that far. And the knees are on a hinge that swings both ways. And of course, full comparison, here he is with a fans project, Headmaster. And here he is with a G1 Headmaster. So you have that. Now, of course, he does include his little companion piece right here, which is a, uh, a pterodactyl or a pteranodon or a pteranodactylon, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. And uh, as usual, not a whole lot going on here paint-wise. You do have a bit of molded detail. Let me get a look at the head here. See a little bit of molded detail. They did paint the eye blue. Um, this section right here that's orange is painted. So you get a little bit of paint on this guy. You have a little Autobot symbol right there on the wing. A little bit of molded detailing going on. And obviously this is meant to be, you know, swoop-ish. On the bottom. Yeah, I see a little bit of detail going on there. I've got more copyright stuff than anything going on down there, but hey, it is what it is. Now, how the Titan Master incorporates into this mode is you just take this flap right here, and you bring that down, and you bring the Titan Master's legs up like this, and what's going to happen here is his head is just going to go into... This little slot right in here, so you just kind of feed his legs through. And you get his head right there into that slot, and then you just tab his legs right in there. So you just bring that down, line everything up, and just tab that in like that. And then you just close that up, and there he is incorporated into the Tyrannodactylon. And, you know, as usual, I just, I always think that's hilarious when they're just kind of lying down in there but hey it's it's a thing it's 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 a thing <laughs> oh one thing to talk about too articulation wise there's a bit of articulation on the wings tips the wing tips anyway can move up and down and you can kind of open and close the mouth here this is all kind of one hinge that's it's meant for transformation but you can technically open and close the mouth and have them doing that you know you can kind of do that. I don't know. But there you go. So you have that. And for comparison, here he is with Grimlock. So you can see these two together. So there you have that. And here he is with his wave mates here with Fangry, with Sawback. Just kind of see how they all look together. There you go. Now, of course, he does have a weapon mode, and to get him into weapon mode, you just take the head, and you swing this all the way around, like that. And then you come down here, and you bring out this handle, and voila! He is in weapon mode, and it's basically just a, uh, like a crossbow weapon. And, yeah, not a whole lot to it, but hey, it is what it is. And, of course, any of your figures with a 5mm port in their hand can hold it. Just bring in Hot Rod here. Give that to him. There you go. You can hold that. And shoot Tyrannodactylon bullets at people. 
So there you go. It kind of works. Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. So there you go. Release hot rod. Release! There you go. Get back down to ground level. And of course, he does have a, another alt mode. And to get him into that alt mode, what you do is you have to remove the Titan Master. So just get him untabbed here. Getting his legs untabbed actually is a bit of a chore. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He actually just have him securely. Yeah, there we go. So get him out. Just pop him out at the bottom there. And you're just going to take the seat and bring it back. You want to take this handle and bring it up. And you'll see there's actually a little groove for the handle right there. So that will just sit right in there like that to hold the seat up. And you leave the head as it is. And you just, you just blah, 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 blah. And this is where my tongue stops working. You take the wings and you just bring them up like that. And there you pretty much go. And then you take your Titan Master. And you just get him into a seating position. And you have the posts right there on the bottom. And you just take them... How do you plug him in? Plug it in, plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're not a sponsor. They're not a sponsor. <laughs> and you just get him sitting down in there. And there you go. You have this this thing, which I don't know what it's supposed to be. Is it supposed to be some other kind of aerial vehicle? It's supposed to be kind of like a land speeder of some kind, something that goes on water, maybe. I'm not sure. But hey, it's 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 a thing. It's a thing that he can ride on. And yeah, sure. Okay. That's uh, okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> Dare I say why not? It's it's a thing. It's interesting. I mean it's interesting, but I don't know what it is. So yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> there you go. So of course. The Titan Master can turn into a head, and you just take him and you fold him in half, and there is his head mode, and as you can see, his head mode is very much swoop. Nicely done. Nice gloss black. He does have some blue there on the eyes, which I don't know if you can see that well. His eyes are pretty small, but they are painted blue. Nice silver there on the face. So, the head looks decent. And of course, you can plug the head onto other bodies or bring in Hot Rod just because he's here. And we'll see how this works on him. Why not? Let's see. Let's see how this works. Does it work? It might work. Who knows? Why is this so hard to get clipped on? For some reason, on Hot Rod, the heads are really hard to get clipped on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Work with me, brother. Work with me, brother. He doesn't want to work with me. Why don't you want to work with me? Why are you fighting me? All I want to do is love you. Seriously, though. What is wrong? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Leave your legs up so I have a little bit more torque going on here. There we go. Jeez, man. That should not have been that difficult. Anyway, so there we go. There we have Taro on Hot Rod's body. Uh, 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 kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of works. You know, I mean, it's... It's, it's, you know, a black and silver head, so it doesn't really clash too much. I mean, black goes with everything, right? <laughs> so it doesn't really clash too much color-wise. So, hey, you know, kind of works. I, I, I can work with that. So you have him on Hot Rod. And we'll bring in Voyager Prime, just because. Just because. Get him in on the fun here. We'll see how that works. And, uh, actually, that works pretty well, too. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby. Okay, that doesn't work. No, that doesn't work at all. But <laughs> that actually works pretty well. Yeah, yeah. I, I can work with that. Sure. <laughs> so there you go. So now let's get back down to ground level. Hey, there you are, ground level. And yeah, there you go. There you have uh, Chero. Get him back into his. Pterodactyl Linalon mode. And there you go. There you have Taro. Again, um, you know, as I've said with all these Titan Masters, I don't really care too much for having extra heads, but I do like these little companion pieces here. Um, you know, these are the most interesting part. And yeah, definitely an interesting piece. Uh, definitely an interesting piece. Um, not my favorite. I think so far, um, I think so far Fangry is my favorite. But uh, yeah, this one's definitely, definitely interesting. So...
There you go. So if you would like a Tarot or any other Titans Return figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Titans Return playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the Transformers, Titans Return, Titan Master Tarot, and this is Engo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Big geek, be proud, palm in your face! Me Grimlock no like this assignment. Me Swoop love this assignment. But why? Go look in kitchen. All the burritos you can eat. Why? Hey, who's been eating my burritos? I will rip you in half. Bad part come. Tell Swoop bad part.